All righty then. As we come together this morning in this uh, spirit of lightness and joy with which we started the conversation, let's consider how magnificent, how magnificent this experience that we call this life here on this earth is. There's an old old quote that said a camel may carry precious sandalwood but knows only its weight and not its value. We can go through life knowing only its busyness but not its magnificence. the sunrise that has been coming up for billions of years, creating the perfect environment for life, life capable of self-awareness to evolve. How perfectly this universe was set up billions of years before we were born so that we could be aware of this moment and we could be aware of the creator of the moment. How we take for granted the, the gravity that keeps us attached to the earth. It runs the water through the coffee filter. We don't even know why it works. We just assume it does. What is it that beats our heart? What is it that takes the oxygen from the air and puts it in our blood and takes the carbon dioxide from our blood and gives it back to the trees? As Rumi says, don't ever worry. But think about the one that created thought. St. Paul said, Who am I that God is even mindful of me? And yet we must come to recognize ourselves as a beautiful expression of life itself. So today we recognize that God is all is all there is, is, as Starkey said, both the fertilizer and the roses. And they're each beautiful in their own way. In our humanness, we tend to shy away from one towards the other. But in our divinity, we must appreciate both. We recognize that the divine life has created each and every one of us out of itself to discover itself in us, as us, and through us. And today we accept this magnificent adventure, this journey, this wonderful story that is our life our life of discovery, our life of joyfully anticipating every day that we will get up and experience more of God than we did yesterday. Our journey of taking the light in the sunrise and the sunset in the bird song, in the sunshine and in the rain equally. Finding the magnificence of what God is in each and everything, in each and every day. Even that which we shy away from. So today we dedicate ourselves, we recommit ourselves to this journey of discovery. And we look forward to it. As we would look forward to a great mystery novel. It is up to us to make the discovery, for no one else can do it for us. 
And as Wendy said in the opening quote, it is not without, it is within. We are grateful to know that there's a power in the universe that responds to us according to our belief, and our belief is, is that the magnificent discovery is already here, lying in quiet repose, as the poet has said, awaiting our discovery. Today we step forward, renewed, into this magnificent adventure. We are grateful to know that this power is responding to us, is working with us, is cooperating with us, is creating the change or changes as needs must be in our consciousness for the continued evolution, unfoldment of our realization of the self with a capital S. Release this treatment, knowing so certainly it is done, that we say together, <clears throat> and so it is. Well, good morning, everyone. So.